Thank you for hanging out with the Parkinson Spiegel holiday party. You can tune into Twitch to see my ugly sweater, how we've decorated the studio. Speaks, you've broken into the punch. I need to start drinking. I be careful of the punch. I had one punch is aggressive, th- right? Whoa, I had yeah. one third of a glass of punch, and I think I'm going to stop right there for a while. Smartly done. Smartly yeah. done. Well, we drink in studio with Dave Wanstead on on Thursdays at four. Well, he's just festive. He is. But then when I saw you put the whole bottle in, I was like, I don't feel like you guys have the proportions <laughs> measured out. In this, any... feels like, this feels like a bad college party yeah, that we just showed up at. That may turn into a very interesting college party that we will eventually <laughs> Jungle <laughs> juice all of a sudden. Yeah, but sometimes they start bad, Adam Amin, and then they turn really, really good. <laughs> yeah. That's the vibe we're going for. It's our holiday party. It's a wonderful holiday vibe. You are a delightful man to come by and grace us please, uh, with, please, with your presence. Pleasure. Happy holidays. Uh, what's the best Christmas song? Adam and me. Uh, Vince Guaraldi, Christmas time is here. Right. It's the from the from Peanuts. If the, if you don't know the name, it's it's the Peanuts Christmas theme. It's one. It's the best, most soothing, calming, festive song for me. I think it's the perfect Christmas vibe. It's it, yeah. It's emotional, isn't it? It it's, is. It's sweet. It's happy, but it's a little sad. It's a little melancholy. It's a little melancholy. I, I think I think maybe my perspective as a kid who didn't grow up celebrating Christmas, like was just exposed to it, like a lot of kids who aren't Christian or whatever, or just aren't, aren't necessarily from American families or we're, we're all kind of like that in a similar sense. We just enjoyed it. We're like, oh, there, it's a day of cookies and stuff. I'm good with that. I <laughs> yeah. know this is what you guys celebrate. That's cool. I will happily eat the cookies and drink the punch. And you just kind of go along with it. And you, 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 I sang Silent Night like everybody else. I didn't know what the meanings sure. what the meaning was. I just sang it because it was fun to sing. I was raised Jewish, but my mom said that her and my dad fell in love around Christmas. And so we were just raised with christmas trees and you take the festive nature of it you don't need need to necessarily have to subscribe to every belief of it you just take the the festive kind nature of it and And i think that's where the melancholy a little bit comes in with me that's why i like that song i have i am the happiest jewish man who's ever lived (laughs) when my wife is decorating the christmas tree with all her joy and the love and the ornaments from the years because you don't you don't have the burden of uh of christmas therapizing you know, necessary. You don't have to deal with all that. You don't you have didn't, any you tough didn't, you didn't, you didn't yeah. get the fights. You didn't get, no. you didn't get the screaming over the no. over the which ornament is going to be at the top of the tree. You didn't have to deal with Correct. that. You just got the good stuff and, out of and it. And Hanukkah's an afterthought. It always has been. It's a very minor miracle <laughs> in the in the history of Jewish miracles. Uh, Hanukkah gets his ass kicked by Christmas oh, every destroyed. year. It's, I, I, I can respect ugly, that man. As, as two gentlemen that have that have experienced both over many years. I'm yeah. sure you guys can have the uh, yeah. the you have the you have the ring card. You have the you have the match card. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm serious. This year, Hanukkah gets a tough draw. It's uh, it falls on Christmas Day, so there's just going to be absolutely brutal. No, Hanukkah, Hanukkah will get destroyed. Um, Jason Goff, can you stand up for the majesty of Christmas? Well, actually, you don't need to because it's gonna it's gonna kick Hanukkah's ass again. It's an ugly it's December every year. Well, happy Kwanzaa, to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, hey, this is, is this about as as diverse of a room as you're going to get right now at this time go. of year? This is quite delightful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Score absolutely. I like how Jay- shout out to Ann here and Gabe Ramirez. <laughs> Ann's coming in a little bit. And Layla, Layla was here three oh, yeah, hours yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll have, happily, happily celebrate a, a Persian holiday as well. Yeah. A Persian Christmas yeah. always, always goes over well. What do y'all got going on in here, man? Hey, man, careful sorry, about careful about late. careful yeah. about the punch. Apparently, they have been told, telling me that uh, you might want to stay away from that. Oh yeah, I can't go into work drunk. <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't. You can. I'm not saying <laughs> you should, but I, you it can. would be the first time in four seasons that I have attempted that feat. I'm. I like the streak that I'm on. Good for you. Yeah. Good for not, you. Not yeah. gonna let you white people ruin my life. Again. <laughs> <laughs> not to do that. For the record, not to do it, was, that. it was the it was the fine Persian gentleman who was, who was trying to force the punch you see how, on you. You see how they do it? They t- everybody, everybody tightened up on, real fast. Everybody tightened. 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 Everybody
You gotta. We're you just know, saying, man. It's been, a, it's, been, it's been a week while uh, while in the great see, city brother. of Chicago. You too, I man. Get a chance to see him at the UC together. anymore because you know, last Halloween somebody ran up. <laughs> and we, oh, is that what happened? The, the Ku Coach jersey. They yeah, had the Ku yeah, Coach yeah, jersey yeah, and the yeah, Bulls hat yeah. on. And Steve, our man, yeah, the, the, Steve the great Rushton. protector, Steve, Steve took was ready to take him out when yeah. he when need be. So. I wasn't worried. Kendall seemed a little irpy, but I wasn't. I wasn't worried. Kendall's a good guy to have next to you. I was gonna say, why is Kendall worried? He of all of us, I feel like Kendall should be the least worried. He's the man. He's got the hands. He's I don't have those the, hands. He's got the uh, certified dangerous hands, man. You know, ask some more of your Chicago yeah, exactly. media <laughs> members. People get on TV with them. <laughs> <laughs> I just came in here and torpedoed this joint once again. My bad, I Tammy. I, I, My fault, Shane. It, it's why we bring you in. It's what you do, man. It's why we bring you in. Man, I was, I, we were talking about melancholy stuff. You you raised the uh, the joy oh, yeah, of the room. I'm fine with that. The temperature? Yeah, exactly. Brendan McCaffrey was the party terrorist. You're the oh, segment terrorist. Shout out to B-Mac. Man. <laughs> party Diamond Drive is what we used to call him. <laughs> you know, dry up any party you need to dry it up. <laughs> I didn't realize you guys wouldn't be able to wouldn't see each other that much. Man, no. when I'm watching the games, your guys is back and forth yeah. on like the, the toss backs to the studio. Yeah. I know you game together, I know your friends, all that stuff, but like it, I would assume that you would hang out and see we each other rarely four see days each other a week. In person. It's, it's maybe like <laughs> Your chemistry is amazing. It's a half dozen times a year, and every <laughs> single one of those is a joy for me. So I'm very and we happy go out. To see we've him. been yeah. out with each other a couple of times. That's to great. Yeah, in some other time. spots. Yeah, but other than that, that's my man. This man has he and I have bonded over late night Call of Duty sessions, <laughs> talking about things that only two men can talk about late night. You know what I mean? Oh, like, you're blowing the cover. Of what the gaming actually is sometimes. Uh, yeah, some actual connecting on a human vulnerable level. Extended therapy sessions, Dude, man. He, had, he has his, I have mine, and then we sh we come together to right. to expand on on those sessions. It's so, it's so hilarious too. Like there'll be times where I know I'm going for like seven minutes about what's going on in my life, and, <laughs> and Adam be like, "Hey, we got a guy over there in the corner." And then the two people that we're playing with are like, "What is wrong with these dudes?" That they it's always are... random. It's Wait, always they, random. You guys are doing this on an open. Line of communication, well, like, like an open I mean, channel. You know, the, the four of us, you know, it's it's me, him, and then like the two random people we get matched up with. Yeah. We can all hear each other while we're trying to and you're you know, doing play the therapy. together. That's Did you beautiful. notice that like this last few months has been like geographically like correct? Like we, I've been getting a lot of Chicago people it's been in my weird, lobbies. Actually. I've noticed that too. Yeah, and I didn't you know, know you'll I, see I, certain I, tags, certain like, names. Oh, yeah, this is like, a oh, okay. three one two tag. Yeah. You must be oh, okay. Gangster Disciple Seven Four. Okay, okay, come on in. They tweak the algorithm to get a few more locals. Is that, is that, that's, where, that's where we really got to mind our P's and Q's as well. I can't be, can't be out here yeah. swearing at small children when, uh, when people from the Chicago land area are playing me. with us. Adam does a great job at keeping <laughs> his cover. You know, like that's why his... the therapy is necessary because I'm suppressing all of this the rest of the time. I was, so. I was raised in this, so I'm like, hey, <laughs> yeah, hey stranger, <laughs> come, come find out what's really been going on with yeah, my life. Yeah, you're more yourself with an audience than without. Hey, man, sometimes, hey, man, I'm only, I'm only alone when I'm with people. <laughs> that, line, that, that line is blurring as, yeah. uh, as we, as yeah. we advance. In our years, yeah, I think. Yeah. See, maybe I should have had some of the punch. Damn it. <laughs> it helps. People, people might be assuming that you and I have gotten into the punch based on how oh, we might man. be talking. Hey, just wait, just wait. One day, me and Adam are gonna have like a you know a podcast where we talk about everybody in Chicago media behind our behind oh, our backs. Oh, wait for oh, oh, that'll oh. be a very exciting podcast in the year twenty forty seven. Yeah, so just yeah, be yeah. ready End for it. Right? Yeah, yeah, just be yeah. ready for it. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna torch all God, these bridges. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Don't you remember Terry Bohr is always saying, "I'll just put it in the book." I'll just put yeah. it in the book, man. And he did. And he did. And he definitely did. He left. He left. A couple out there. Oh, more it than was a couple. A, it was a gentle book. Yeah, for what he, for for what all he things, promised. All things considered, based yeah. on, on the ramp up time, I feel like maybe he, <laughs> yeah, he, some people is. got off late. Yeah, when, when you write, when you're about to hit publish, you're like, you know what? Hold oh, on oh, one second. Back, it's real how quick. I feel after every episode of the pod. That's why I don't listen. Because I wait for the next morning for people to be like, dog, did you, did you know that you, I'm like, what? That was in there? That's crazy. Man, that I, forgot, I blacked out for yeah, those two yeah, minutes and yeah, I was yeah, reading yeah, on somebody. Yeah. So. Some dude got into it with his wife the other day because I told him that, you know, this happy wife, happy life thing that they have forced upon us is nonsense <laughs> and it should be happy us, happy us. Right. And I'm saying this on our, on our pod, That's we're right. talking about it. Right. Like my fiance is a therapist. We have these conversations or whatever. And then this dude took that back to his relationship and damn. They got put out. <laughs> so, no, it's happy wife, happy life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
exactly. She, now exactly. she told me it was happy wife, right. happy life. So I don't know what you were telling me, but she said, and now I got to do it. You can follow me to destruction. Have you guys ever had that where like you have the therapy session, you're like, you know what? You are right. I do need to stand up for myself. I do need to say something. You know, thank you very much. I'll take my notes and then I go in to talk to the wife. And another thing. Forget everything. And I, start, and then I forget everything. Like wow, that and was another a terrible thing, idea. A, another <laughs> thing was the last Bad thing. That's what that was. That's what that was. The, uh, another the thing hell? ended up being the last other thing that I was about to say to her for that night. Time no. to fire the therapist. No, yes. no, no, I just, I just clam up and go on the couch. I and need go, people on my side yeah, on this, yeah. man. Come on, <laughs> go watch my Maybe favorite black lead. Lead me, lead me into oblivion like that. How dare you? Nah, man, it's it's it's, ter- it's treacherous out there. That's why we have sports, and, <laughs> and that's why the Bulls need to tank. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Good night, everybody. Thanks so much. We've solved it all. We've solved it all this very moment. Answer all of their Bulls questions. I haven't. No, we haven't. We haven't even got to. We've just finished doing these. The first Bulls mention. Do Do you guys look at this stretch of games coming up against uh, on paper teams that they should be better than? <laughs> is Is this going to be the uh, a defining uh, stretch for the nine and fourteen Chicago Bulls? Oh, it is certainly for the uh, moment in time that we are in the micro that we are in right now. As we, you know, I know the macro is not looking particularly good. The micro that you're about to enter is exceptionally important. So. Every for a bad team, or when I mean that on paper, nine and fourteen, for a team like that, every stretch like this is a defining stretch. It becomes a defining stretch. So yeah, you have the Knicks twice next week. You have the ne- <laughs> the, the Knicks, in fact, three times in the next two weeks. You have a Dallas team that's been up and down outside of Luca. You have an Atlanta team that I don't know what Trey Young's on right now, but he's <laughs> he is upset at Nate McMillan. And there's a lot of infighting and. They can't seem to get their chemistry going. They've lost games in weird fashion. They've won games in weird fashion. So just looking at the next two weeks, yes, this becomes a defining stretch for the season. I'm hope trafficking with myself because I said that there was there was no choice. Jay, you and I have talked about this. Like they had to max Zach Levine. They <laughs> they they had to. You couldn't lose him for nothing. Mm-hmm. He was going to sign for a max with somewhere Somebody, else, yeah. someone else on yeah. on the four. You so you had to do it. Rough start. The knee. It happens. He looked awesome against the Kings. Was attacking. I am. Telling myself that he is going to play in the back-to-back of Dallas and Atlanta because Luca and Trey signed the exact same deals <laughs> that, that he signed, and that this is good. Exa- have you told his knee this? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. I, it's a disaster. Parkins is picturing Zach yelling at right, his right. knee. Like, come it. on, you got you got to do this. Trey signed that deal. You got to do it. Luca signed that I, come deal. Come on, Lightning. Well, well, because, how, right, how, the how, how much future is so bleak if Zach is in a special offensive? Player. How much yes. personal choice is going on there? Though, in no, terms of the attacking, I, w- I would say now not, he's not at the, the point. Not the playing, but the attacking. I, I think now a, he's oh. at the point where, listen, is I think a, I think a twenty to twenty-five game stretch. I mean, I think I always look back at Miami when LeBron first got there and how bad they were. Not mm-hmm. bad is a relative term, but like how how much they struggled with with that su- quote unquote super team. Oh, the evil 20, empire. Took them twenty-five well. games. It all, it took them twenty-five games. Twenty-five games is a really good sample size, I think, in the NBA to see a lot of things, whether it's an injury, whether it's chemistry, all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, they the three best players got to play better. Like we yeah. we keep wrapping ourselves up in the in, in in these you know mental gymnastics and trying to figure out. All right, is it is it this guy? Is it this rotation? It, nah, the three best players got to play better. And at both they, ends. They, yeah. At, especially at one end. I hope yeah. we see it, but I, I, I'm going to go until the day I die thinking that a healthy Lonzo Ball transforms the entire exercise on both ends of the floor, and they knew that, which is why you build a team like this, because sure. you know that that guy is, is energy defensively, is egalitarian <laughs> offensively, makes people want to run, makes people want to pass, changes everything but on both sides. if you appreciate him the way you, you do, speaks, and I'm not talking about you, but yeah. like as a teammate, Maybe you play better so that all the pressure won't be on him coming back. Mm-hmm. That's that's the other thing that we've all been like, discussing. Like you is get like, a lot you, on a dude who you, hasn't played basketball in a, in a year. year. You can't just put him. <laughs> uh, you can't just use his name as a salve right now. You know, and and the wonder is, is, is it going to take him twenty to twenty five games? the way it's kind of taken Zach Levine to feel like, all right, maybe he's starting to get that that bounce back. Because we've seen flashes of it, and we saw it very consistently, mm-hmm. I think, this past weekend in, in San Fran and, and in Sacramento. That's that's the other thing. Is it going to take Lonzo Ball 25 games? Let's say he comes back after the All-Star break. You only have 20 games to essentially say, I, get to that point. Right. You I know? would take the under on 25 games played for Lonzo Ball this so, year. So... Can you you still have to put yourself <laughs> like in a position and to, to be a playoff right. team yeah. so that when he does come back, you don't put everything on him. You give him ample time 
to feel like, all right, he can get his legs back underneath him at a game speed and play at the level that he was playing at before he got hurt last year. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully you are somewhere in the mix of 7 to 10. And that's the goal all of a sudden right now. And that oh. could change after this next two-week stretch. You could say, all right, maybe they're back to being a, a 5 or a 6 or fighting for that. This is still a conference that's going to be up and down over the course of the year. So that gives you some pause and some comfort in a sense. But there's a lot that we're, we're, we're banging on a lot of ifs at this point. <laughs> I, we, we don't have a ton of time, and we really appreciate you both coming in. We don't know a ton still about AK. Do you guys think he has it in him to tear it down already? To make that pivot. To tear it down to, 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 to do what, though? To sell. To, to, I mean, like, but because Billy, the next two weeks Billy go Donovan poorly. didn't leave the Oklahoma City Thunder because they were getting ready to rebuild right. to come here and then sign a long-term extension to then go over a rebuild here. Yeah, I don't think that, yeah, I don't think that happened. So, yeah, situation. you know, at some point, who like, who who did you tell the wrong thing to? I'm not saying that AK did that, but, right. it, but, if, but if your, your circumstances are your circumstances. Sometimes you just got to ride the nastiness out and... I think that's what this team is. They came to this this year talking about continuity, right? Yeah. And they, they changed a couple of players. They could have well, just told us they extended the coach as part of the continuity, by well, the way. That, I'm not I mean, sure why that didn't come out that's, early. You know, I think that's the game that the ownership group is playing with the media still at this day and age that I don't, you know, I don't know about or I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Like sure. at some point it's gonna come out, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and you definitely don't want it to come out while you're struggling during a road trip. So, you know, but again, that news came out for a reason too. Right, like certain lines in the sand have to be drawn. You're not if you don't want to do what the coach is saying. You got to do then. Hey, this is the backing that the coach has. Hmm. Um, uh, I they're too good to be playing this uh, comfortably, and and be this poor at it. Like. They shouldn't be this comfortable this playing isn't, that This bad. isn't right now, yeah. based yeah. on its current personnel, based on the individuals that are out there. They're not at the point where they can roll the ball out and win. And but like, they, there are they, some teams they that can do that. In the this first is half. this is not a team that's like that. And they keep realizing it at, at, at the halftime break for whatever reason, and the intensity piles up, and now you're back in the in the ball game. But this is a bad trend. You can't. This is not a sustainable. They got way used to being to down. Play. They got used to being down last yeah. year. They got used to hitting a bunch of tough shots. And uh, you know, and you don't have there's to a market do it that correction way. that comes in. They went six for twenty five. Uh, from mid-range mid last game against Sacramento Kings. Yes. If you don't get to the hole, if you don't shoot three-pointers and you're mm. not turning the team over, live ball turnovers, getting your fast break offense going, that's a hard recipe. Does the technology allow uh, fans to log on to Call of Duty and just watch you guys play and listen? Uh, I, I, I don't have think a we Twitch got, channel, uh, but do you, I, don't, I don't jump um, into I'm, that very I'm often. Not, I'm not Twitch yeah, streaming. Yeah, I saw, I saw what happened kicked with, by a bunch you, of nine-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> you can yeah. sell Adam, some tickets. No. Adam and oh, you can be Miles Leonard. <laughs> Jason Goff, check out NBC Sports Chicago. Thanks for coming in to the Parkers and Spiegel holiday you party. Know? We're bringing in the professional musician. Yo, my wife needs me. She just called me. I'll, uh, I gotta roll, brother. <laughs>